Hey everybody, Karen Bryant for MMA Heat talking with Jarzinho Rosenstruck who is taking on Junior Dos Santos at UFC 252. Biggie boy, biggie boy, I know this is an important fight for you. How you feeling about facing JDS in just a couple days? Yeah, I'm feeling good, feeling great. Um, yeah, yeah, I feel good. <laughs> Well, you know, a lot of people are thinking that maybe, not that it's too soon, but, you know, obviously you had a big fight with Francis, and when people fight Francis and when Francis knocks people out, they think they're going to need a long time to recover. Um, but that's not the case for you. It's just a few months later. So why were you able to get back to business so quickly? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, yeah, I, was, I, was, I wasn't injured. Yeah. I was clear by the doctor. And I, I didn't feel anything or anything. I was like, yeah, uh, I had nothing. So I'm happy about that. I'm, I'm able to fight again. Um, it's not always nice when you get knocked out. You know, people get um, injuries. Yeah. So in that, uh, it's not my case. And I'm happy about that. And I always wanted to fight. I'm like, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna sit down, wait five six seven months to fight again it's gonna be boring yeah <laughs> nice yeah no we'd rather have you active too but and and that's the thing once you got to the ufc it's nice that they're keeping you busy and i don't want to i don't want to dwell on that on that fight but like i can i just don't know what it's like standing across the ring from francis and gano knowing that he's trying to punch my head off so like it's just it's just and i can say the same for you i don't know what it's like to stand across from you like it's just insane to me um it's just insane um but so, is that part of it though? Is like when when something doesn't go your way, you want to just shake it off fast and just get back to winning? Is that part of it too? That too. Yeah. But but it's business, so uh, we go in the octagon, do what, what we love, and we train to do that. Sometimes it go your way, sometimes not. Right. And in this case, there were my in this, this was my case, and for me it was more like let's fight, <sighs> let's do something, cause it's gonna stay. Ah. And now it's Junior De Santos, former champion. It's a big name. Yeah. Also, still a dangerous guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, the heavyweight division have to move on, and I'm in it, so I'm here to change it, whatever it takes. Yeah, well, and that's what I, you only get big names, right? Because you had Alistair Overeem, you have Junior De Santos, Francis Ngannou. You're only ever going to get big names. Um, but yeah, former champion, that's a huge deal. But also now, it's a little weird, right? Because you guys both train at ATT. So yeah. is there anything strange about fighting a teammate? The good thing about it is uh, we never trained to get it yet. Okay. And um, I think it's my, my third camp. I'm going to be by, I'm by ATT. Mm -hmm. Junior was there for a long, longer time than me. Um, and also... I think he was he was one of the first guy that that that, um, that 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 say hi and uh, give me kind words when I get in like hey nice to join us you know so yeah. um, it's nothing against him it's business it's my career it's his career and and as people say sometimes the show must go on right absolutely but I'm surprised yeah. you guys never trained together because I would have assumed. Two big heavy weights at ATT, great fighters. Why didn't you ever train together? Uh, I think the the time I had my camp, um, he didn't train a lot. He trained, but not a lot because I, I didn't see him so much. Right. Um, but you know how it is as fighters. Uh, you have a fight, you take some time off and come back. So maybe right. that was the case. But and I'm not there for like, I'm not there that long yet. So you can right. say. Hey, you know, so that makes sense. But now, what do you make of of Keto Junior Dos Santos, right? Because you know, obviously, lockdown has made a lot of people change their habits. Some for better, some for worse. And it looked like Junior was kind of going keto and looking a little leaner. Um, you know, do you think that will have any effect on how he fights you? Uh, it may be, maybe not. Um, Junior looks good. I have yeah. to say that um, he cut a lot of weight. Um, he's in shape, but. Um, on the other hand, I have to set something straight. I trained really hard. It wasn't easy with the pandemic. Uh, my coach, Michael Bob, couldn't enter the country. Mm, he just came in the two last week. Oh, okay. Well. Now everything is fine, and I feel good about this fight. So 
yeah, I mean, we're all in shape and we're ready to dance. Nice. Well, you know, and I have to wonder, too, um, not to be presumptuous, but, like, how much does the improvised training and the kind of home training a lot of people have to do, how much is that similar to maybe how you started in the first place? I I I experience as this. Um, train a lot in the gym, but I train a lot at home, too. Yeah. And um, I have the discipline, and mentally it makes me stronger. Right. Because things I do at home, when I do it in the gym, maybe you, you wait till the foil, for the voice that, hey, let's go, and then you go again. When you do it at home, you're by yourself. You just have to uh, play it in your head. Come on, Biggie, let's go. Let's hit it. You know, so mentally, uh, it, it makes you stronger. Right. Yeah. That's, yeah, no, there's something really to be said for that, that you can push yourself. And also, it, 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 it's interesting. So I was at the Apex last weekend um, for work. And we were watching Derek Lewis and uh, Alexi Olenek fight in there. And I'm sitting there with Anthony Smith and, and Mike Chiesa, and we're both like, how the F is this cage going to hold all the big dudes next week, right? Because we're picturing you and Junior. We're picturing DC and Stipe. So yeah. have you, you know, thought about that, um, how the smaller octagon might help you or, you know, how that is going to factor into the fight? Uh, actually, I didn't even think about it. Um, but well, think about it now, Biggie, because it's yeah, a lot I, smaller. <laughs> everybody, everybody asks that question. Uh, for me, is 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 the door slot? Um, we're gonna be in there. Is it smaller or bigger? Mm, I mean, we're gonna be there. You can, no, you can't run. We're gonna be there and hit it. So, if it's smaller or bigger, for me, it doesn't matter. I it, train hard. And I'll go in there and show my best side and try to get my hands raised again. Well, nice. Yeah, no, and I don't, but I don't know if you notice, like, even just with Derek and Alexi, like, you know, once you touch gloves, it's literally like it's one, like two, that. three, bam, and, and your back is against that, that fence. Yeah. I, I I don't know. Am I? It's going to be my first experience in this way, so maybe after this we can talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd like to know. Well, I guess my point, too, is, you know, you're talking about training at home and your own mental toughness. And I do think that's something that plays into the fights is the, the the lack of an audience. You know, I think there are some fighters that it really helps them to have that crowd there. You know, they land some good punch. And they're in the third round. They're tired. And then the crowd all of a sudden goes crazy and they have, you know, that extra push. But I, I really think it does ask a lot more of you, the fighter individually, to, to have that quiet room. And you know what I mean? Like, yes, you can hear everything your coach says, but like, it's all on you. There's nobody there to help you like a crowd. Um, I'm just curious what your take is on fighting with nobody there. Uh, it's going to be my second time. Right. Uh, I don't feel any, no, uh, for me, it's just fight. And normally, uh, when I used to fight home in Suriname and all the people screaming my name, that gives you a boost. Yeah. But I have, I have it the other way too. I used to fight in the Netherlands and everybody was for my opponent and they give me more um oh, more hype more more power more yeah. more aggressive to you know to win that fight so for me i think it's fight and and i have that feeling too what right. you always talking about like you know when the crowd are screaming and ah and <laughs> keep going it's nice and yeah of course it's nicer to have the crowd the fans you know yeah it is what it is. It is what it is. No, it is what it is. And I think it's going to be a great fight. You know, you mentioned, obviously, um, uh, that, uh, or maybe you didn't, but I'm going to hear about, you know, obviously with DC and Stipe fighting, we know that it's definitely the last fight for DC, most likely, and potentially could be for Stipe as well. So uh, a lot of people think that Francis would be the person that is, you know, obviously elevated to a title shot. Um, you, we know you would love a rematch with that. But, you know, what, what do you think right now, knowing that the same fight that, uh, same night you're fighting, rather, stuff could just be totally wide open for your division at the end of the night? I think it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, in DC is his last run. I just saw him in the hallway. Grab a, kit, grab a picture real quick because I think it's awesome. Um, yeah. I'm gonna be right there, and yeah. and for me the competition just begun. Um, for so far I came to the UFC, got four finishes, four wins, mm -hmm. I got a loss, and then then it starts. Because yeah. when you win, 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 then everybody ah, I look easy, it look this, and now and now I lose one, so then the competition starts because everybody don't see huh? Oh, so even that beast can lose, you right. know? So then you're gonna go back home, work harder and come back as now I'm stronger and I'm looking I'm looking for a victory and I'm going to be right there for the title shot after Francis. 
Yeah, no, it's great. It, it's a great opportunity. And obviously, you are a knockout artist, you know. Um, but when we start talking about the division, you know, Curtis Blades, we know, is a great wrestler. So I don't know if, you know, obviously, you, you want that rematch with Francis. But when you think about who you need to be ready for, um, I would imagine that, that you know, you, you look at somebody like Curtis and he's just out wrestled everybody, um, you know, that you got to be concerned about that. I think, no, nah, I'm not concerned. The, con the thing is, the thing that I have to do is train hard yeah. and make sure he don't all wrestle me if I meet him. Um, yeah, I mean, you have to, everybody in the heavyweight division, especially the top five, are dangerous guys. Yeah. So so you have to see what they do, what they do, and know the, know the weaknesses and know your own weaknesses right. and work hard. No, work harder. And I think if, if you do that as a fighter, even you win, you lose, uh, you will be better. Yeah, for sure. Do you think John Jones will ever fight at heavyweight? That would be nice. That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he's an heavyweight. If, if I look at him, the way he, he, he is, tall, long arms, he can, he's, he, I think he's a heavyweight. Yeah. After he's, he's done doing the, the, the light heavyweight, I think he's going to join us. Yeah, well, it'll be fun. It'll be interesting to see. I know everybody's like wants their chance at John Jones as a heavyweight if they get uh, if they get him. Um, last thing before we get out of here, what do you what do you make of the video game? Right, because now you're uh, in the uh, EA game. Are you a gamer? What What, what do you think of it? Um, it's crazy. I never I never thought of myself being an athlete in a video game. Yeah. And soon as the, the update came out, like, hey, uh, I see my character gonna be in the video. Game. I was like, whoa. And yeah, it's crazy. I can't wait till it come out. I'm gonna play it first. <laughs> I'm gonna play the whole night. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a trip. I, I'm, I'm not in. I would love to be in one one day. Like, I think that must be the coolest thing in the world. It is. To play, it is. Like, it's gotta be the coolest thing ever. I have a friends right now talking to me or sending me messages. Hey, you're in the game. You this and that. I can't answer all those questions, all those messages, but they're all nice messages. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. Well, listen, um, it's really great to talk to you. And I, I know that you're going to put on a show. Uh, you know, obviously you're doing it for, for your whole country. Everybody roots for you. Did, did, yeah. did you have a parade yet? Have they named a day after you at home in Suriname yet? One more time. Is there a parade or has there been like a Jarzinho day back home in Suriname yet? <laughs> Not yet, but maybe in the future. Let's grab that belt first. Let, 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 let's be a legend. Let's let's grab all those victories. Let's put all those great records. And yeah, right now my career for me is just begun. On this, this is the biggest platform in fighting on earth, and and I'm honored to be in this position to represent my country on this to a million of people. And for me, it's crazy and it feels great at the same time. Yeah, and it, and it really is great. And you bring up a good point, like you're. You are still kind of just getting started in the UFC, which is great. Like, yeah. you know, you've already got, like you said, four finishes, four wins there. But it's like we we have such high hopes for you already. But it, the cool thing is, like, the heavyweight division, you guys, like, guys stay around. Like, you know, Alexi's yeah. 43. So it's cool Heavy. that you have time. You know, but it's <laughs> weird because at the same time, like, everybody wants to rush you. And we need no more biggie boy. But at the same time, you're like, you know what? He's got some time. Just let him, let him develop. Let him develop. But you're only going to get big names. Yeah, let me grow. And I feel good about it. Uh, the heavyweight division is the baddest man on the planet, and that's the race. Yeah. And, yeah, the dream's still alive. So we're going to see it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today. And, uh, yeah, best of luck. Have fun out there on Saturday. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for having me again. Have a see nice ya, day. See ya. Bye.